Hey guys, Connor here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Roadmaster Diode Wiring Kit for our 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Our diode wiring kit is going to be one of the many components we need to complete our flat tow setup. Some of the other components are going to include obviously our tow bar here, which is going to be the connection point between the towed vehicle and the tow vehicle, as well as our safety cables here, which are required by law, as well as our braking system and our base plates. So our Roadmaster Dyer wiring kit has this nice little bungee umbilical cord here. It's actually called coiled, and this is gonna prevent it from dragging on the ground. For the tow vehicle side, we have a seven blade connector. So this is gonna house all of our main turn signals, brake lights, tail lights. We're also gonna have a battery charge line circuit if we choose to install that on the towed vehicle. This particular towed vehicle needs it, so we did go ahead and utilize that. So if we take a look at the other end here, we see we have a six pole connector. So this six pole connector, again, is gonna house all the main turn, brake, and tail lights. And it's also gonna have another pin for our battery charge line circuit as well. So we don't have to have any extra wires running between the towed and towed vehicle. So our diode wiring system is gonna allow us to activate the tail lights on the Jeep while we're in the motorhome. It's gonna use the motorhome signals to again, activate the tail lights on our Jeep. So just to show you how that works, we're gonna have our left turn signal here, our right turn signal here. We're gonna have our brake lights. And last but not least, we have our tail lights. So what I really like about this Roadmaster system here is we're not really gonna have any removable parts on the vehicle that we need to take on and off each time we wanna to tow our vehicle. We're gonna be using the vehicle's factory tail lights, but we're not gonna be drawing any power from the vehicle either, which is good, so we don't have to worry about draining our battery. We have our connection point between our towed vehicle and our tow vehicle. Our tow vehicle, again, is gonna provide the functions. We're gonna translate down and apply them on our towed vehicle. So when we're comparing our diode wiring kit here to another set of tail lights that people use or another set of flat tail lights that people use, like such as magnetic tail lights, which just sort of stick on the vehicle itself, you don't have to, again, you don't have to remove them each time we wanna tow our vehicle. They're gonna be built into the factory tail lights. They're gonna install cleanly behind the tail lights, so we're not gonna have any other visible parts from inside the vehicle. And again, we have this nice little connection point between the two, which is coiled, so we don't have to worry about it dragging on the ground. And again, this is very durable, which is why I really like this Roadmaster kit. So in regards to installation, this is gonna be something you can do at home. There's no special tools required. The only permanent modifications we need to make to our vehicle are two, well it'd be four actually, four wires we need to cut and splice into. It's not a huge deal. We're gonna be doing this directly behind the taillights and everything could always be reversed should you remove the diode kit down the line. And now that we've gone over some of the benefits and features, let's show you how easy these are to install yourself. Now to start our installation today, we're gonna to go ahead and take our bonded four wire here, we'll set it aside, and we're gonna go ahead and take one of the blunt cut ends and just sort of loop it through our trailer connector mounting bracket. Um, if you don't already have one of these installed, you can purchase one separately here at eTrailer. Uh, they usually come with the base plates though. I'm just gonna secure that like so. And now we're gonna take the remaining wire, and we're gonna to wanna to run this to the back of the taillights because that's what we have to splice into to get our signals. Now to show you how we routed our wiring harness here, we have it just tied off to our mounting bracket here for the trailer connector. And we have some wire loom we've used here just to secure the wire. I went ahead and zip tied it to a part of the existing wiring harness here. And I routed it under this pump here. I secured it to our power steering lines right here. We see this sort of move down here have a couple zip ties to the wiring harness here. If we work our way under, I have another zip tie up here, securing it to the brake line. And then we're just zip tying again to some remaining wires with the brake line here. And this is where we head into the frame. So now that we have the wire coming out of the frame here, we just took some electrical tape. And we just taped it off so it's nice and secure and it looks a lot better. It doesn't stand out as much. Then we went ahead and routed it over this little panel here, which is a cover for our gas tank. Routed it up along this little gap between the gas tank and the frame rail here. And then we came up. You could see part of the bottom four wire here. We came up here. We just zip tied it to some existing components. Then we came over the shock mount here. And then once we come to the shock mount, we then came down. And I'll show you right here. We actually went back into the frame rail after we went off the shock mount. Again, just using our pull wire technique that we showed you. And then we're gonna come out finally down here at the bottom of the frame rail. 
And after we gap this out here, this is where we're going to go ahead and route it to the taillights for our diodes. So now we want to come in here to our taillight housing that we removed the taillight from. We see we have our wiring harness here with our pigtail for our taillights. Now we need to go ahead and test the wires for these. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to go ahead and take our circuit tester here and we're going to want to ground one of these ends to a bare metal portion, preferably on the frame. So we use this down here. And now we're going to go ahead and test these pins inside here to see which correspond with our turn signals, our tail signals, as well as our stop signals. So let's go ahead and try to find the stop signals first. So we're going to have someone inside the vehicle apply the brakes. We're just going to go ahead and test these pins to see which one illuminates our circuit tester. In this case, we're going to hear an audible noise. There we go. If we look which pin that is, that's the yellow wire. So we're just going to mark that. So we have our stop circuit is the yellow wire. Now we're going to go ahead and try our left hand turn signal. Now this should be on the same wire as our stop signal because this because this particular vehicle has combined stop and turn signals. So just to confirm that. All right, just as we thought. So the turn signal is also on the yellow wire. And now the last circuit we need to find are the tail lights. So we need to go ahead and have someone apply the running lights, tail lights, in the, or the running lights in the vehicle. Test these pins here. See which one. It's that one right there. So it's the third one over, which is going to be our white slash gray wire. So there we go. Now we've identified all the correct wires that we need to splice into. So now once we have the connector out here, we've already tested our wires. We've identified that the solid green one is going to be for our stop slash turn and our white slash orange one is going to be for our tail light. So basically this next step, um, there's a little, couple options you have. The first option is we could cut the wires right here and install our diodes in the tail light housing here. However, I don't really like to do that. It doesn't give as clean as a look and you have to fight with getting the tail bites back in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an alternative method. We're still going to cut the two wires right here, but instead of mounting the diodes up here, we're going to run some pretty much extension wires off of these two, four, two wires here, down into the uh, body well here, underneath, and then under the vehicle is where we're going to install our diodes, where we have a lot more room, and we don't have to fight with uh, getting our taillights back in place. So again, we just need to cut these wires. Keep in mind, you do need to strip ends of each of these, so we do want to make sure we have space on either side. Just going to cut these in half. Just going to double check the white slash orange is my tail. Cut that and then the solid green is going to be my stop slash turn. So we're going to cut that as well. Once we get those cut, we can take our wire strippers here and about a quarter inch of the jacket off is all you really need. This side. So yeah, again, we have to do that on both sides of the wire here, just like so. Now, in order to uh, extend our wires down here under the body, we need to take um, some extra wire. We're going to be using a bonded four pole, which we sell by the foot here at each trailer. So we're going to go again, have to go ahead and strip some jacket off the ends of these wires. A quarter inch should be fine. Take the jacket off. And then we're going to take some butt connectors here, which again, if you don't have, we offer an e-trailer or you could pick up uh, a trailer wiring kit, which is going to have all these uh, miscellaneous connectors in there for you. So we're going to place that on the end there. We're going to clamp this down on the butt connector, just like so. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that. These other wires as well. So now we're going to go ahead and take the other end of our bonded four pole here. We're just going to feed it down through here. We have a nice opening, so shouldn't have to use a pole wire or anything like that. Just going to feed it there, feed it through. You may even come underneath, just grab it, pull it the rest of the way. So now we can go ahead and take our butt connectors here to the wire ends we stripped off behind our connector. Now keep in mind, the wire colors are not going to match exactly, so we just need to make sure and write down which ones we're connecting to which. 
That way we have a key to use when we're down below the vehicle, making our connections to the diodes. So I am going to connect, just start this off green with green. And every time we make a crimp, I just like to go ahead, just slightly pull on each of the wires to make sure that they uh, had a good connection. So we're going to take the other end of our green wire here, attach it to the yellow. Actually, gonna strip a little bit more off there. I just like to twist the ends as well. So we're gonna go yellow to the green here. So you may need to write that down. Just make a note of it. Uh, we're not putting the tail lights back on right this second, so it should be pretty easy just to come up here and check if we forget. I'm gonna slip that in there. Make sure the wire didn't pull out. Make our crimp. Let's check the connection. Looks pretty good. Now we can take one of our other wires here, connect it to whichever one you want. Doesn't really matter. Take our crimp tool. And then we have one more connection we need to make. And there we go. So if we come on the other side of the vehicle here, we're gonna have our bonded wiring harness, which we routed down uh, behind the taillight assembly. And we just went ahead and routed the wire over this little bracket here, because we're gonna mount our diode probably on the underside of the bed somewhere up in here. So we're gonna take our wiring harness down here and attach the diode. So the single side of the diode here is gonna attach to the wire that was pulled off the connector. So if you remember earlier, we used the solid green wire to attach to the back of the connector. Um, if not, we could always just take a look and verify real quick before we attach the two. So we're just gonna strip a bit of the harness off here, just like so. We're actually gonna pull this bait terminal off the diode just to show you. Like I said, I always like just to twist the strands on there, insert it into there like so. Take our crimp tool. Secure it on there, give it a wiggle, make sure it's seated. So now if we remember, we're gonna take our yellow wire here. Our yellow wire here is what we use to split the green wire up at the taillights. Again, I do recommend just taking a quick peek up there, checking, making sure you have the right combo if you didn't write it down. So we're gonna go ahead and attach our spade terminal onto this wire, crimp it on. So now we need to take the section of the bonded four pole that we had ran from the front of the vehicle. We're on the passenger side here, so we need to sort of snip this, just the green wire here. We're gonna go right here. Cause we're gonna have to separate this from the rest of our wiring harness here. And we're actually gonna run this up into the diode that we just ran the spade connectors for. So we're gonna pull that off there. Gonna strip some wire off, just like so. And we're gonna take a final spade terminal here. Attach this, crimp it on, just like we have there. So now we can go ahead and attach the diode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the sides that goes to the front of the vehicle, plug it in here, we're going to take the side here that came from our connector, plug it in there, and then we have the final yellow wire here, just gonna go on the other side of the diode. So there we have it. So that is gonna be for the passenger side stop slash turn. Now we need to go ahead and attach our diode here for the tail light circuit. So if we take a look here, we're gonna see the bonded four pole wire that we ran in between the bumper and the tail light on the driver's side of the vehicle. Now we need to get this over the passenger side where we're gonna mount our diodes, as well as tie our running light circuits together. So as you can see here, or if not, we've uh, routed this bonded four pole wire just above the trailer hitch, behind the rear bumper, over to the passenger side of the frame. 
Now we just have it loosely in place now. We are going to come back and uh, put some wire loom around there to clean it up as well as zip tie it off to secure it in place. So here we have the bonded four pole that we've routed over from the driver's side. Now we're going to do the driver's side stop slash turn signal circuit first, which if we remember is going to be this yellow wire which comes straight from the back of the connector. So we're going to take one of our spade terminals, place it over like so, and again just use the same crimping technique we've been using thus far. Tug on it. So this is going to go into the single out output sides of this diode here, just like so. So our green wire here is actually going to be on the other side. Clamp that down. It's going to go on the other side of this diode here. like so. And now we have one more side we need to connect here, which is going to be the left turn signal. And so this is the wiring harness that goes to the front of the vehicle. So we need to go ahead and peel that back. And that's going to go on the other side of the diode for our stop slash turn signal circuits on the driver's side. So now we have one more wire here. So we have the brown wire and the white wire. So that's going to go to our other diode here. So we have the brown wire here which is going to be coming for the tail light circuit on the driver's side of the vehicle. going to go on the output side of one of our diodes here, just like so. So now we can just take our other end of the wire here, which we spliced in between the running light circuit, clamp that on, attach it to here, and now we need to run a jumper wire from this pin here to the other pin on our diode, basically the, the passenger and driver side tail light circuits, jumper wire here, and we need to take the brown wire and attach it, combine it to one of the wires on this side. So now we have a just single primary wire right here, section we cut off from the bonded four pole that we're going to use for our jumper wire. So one of these ends is going to go up here like so, crimp it on, and then attach this to the diode for the driver's side. And then we're going to splice these two wires together and attach it to the diode for our passenger side. Let's see how much wire we need here. Probably don't need quite that much, so let's go ahead and cut some of this off. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to splice these two wires together. That's why they give us a larger spade terminal, which is the yellow one included with the kit. You can see here, join those two wires together, hold it on there as best we can, and make our crimp. And that final connection there is going to go on one of the other pins on our diode for the passenger side, I believe it is. Just like that. Now it looks like a tangled mess now, but we are gonna test everything before we mount it up on the vehicle. And don't forget, we do have one more ground wire we need to attach here. So as I said, we have one final wire we need to connect, which is the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and take a ring terminal here. Attach it to the wire. And then in light of not making any new holes on the vehicle, we're going to use an existing bolt up there. So that one's a 13. Place it through the stud just like so. And now that that's secure, we can go ahead and test our diodes 
before we make everything look a little nicer, secure it in place. So now the easiest way to test our wiring harnesses here is if we have the tow vehicle present. And if so, we can go ahead and just install our trailer connector. That way we can plug everything up and test the tail lights. So we just come to the front of the vehicle here and now we're just stripping back the wires because we're gonna attach it to the trailer connector which came with our diode wiring harness. Take all the wires off here. And you see this red wire here? This is actually for a battery charge line, which we opted to install on the Gladiator because it is recommended. This is sold separately. We do have it here at E-Trailer if you're interested. So now we're just gonna take our wires and route them through this grommet here best we can. Uh, that battery charge line is hot for right now, so I'm just going to take a piece of electrical tape so we don't have any shorts. Just tie that over there while we wrap everything through the grommet. So now we can go ahead and start making our connections. If we did opt for the charge line, that's going to go in the center pin here. There's a diagram included with the instructions for the diode kit that will show you how to wire this trailer connector. They're also labeled on the back as well. So we're going to go ahead and attach this first one. It's going to slide through there like that. I'm going to hold that in place. And this is just a Phillips head, smaller Phillips head to secure it. Now we can again begin attaching the rest of our wires. Our white one is for the ground, which is going to be labeled GD on the back there. We don't need to take those screws all the way out, just enough to get the wire through. Place that in there. Tighten that up. And see if we can see the next one. RT, which is going to be right turn. So that's going to be our green wire. See the TN, that's going to be for our taillights. Which is going to be the brown wire. These things are pretty tiny, so that's why you don't want to go out all the way because you can lose them. Luckily I've seen where that landed though. Let's try to get a couple threads started here. Like so, see some of the strands kicked out. We don't actually want that because then it could cross circuits. So that's why we want to tie that off. Make sure all the strands are going in there. So then, pull this out. We have our final connection. LT left turn, which is going to be our yellow wire. Just like so. Secure it with our screw here. Now we're going to go ahead and test everything to make sure it's working. Assuming it is, then we can come back with some black RTV silicone, which we sell here at E-Trailer, and seal this off so we don't have to worry about any corrosion issues. So now we can go ahead and test our taillights and our diode system. Now the easiest thing you're probably going to have on hand is your motorhome, however we're just going to be using a test box for the sake of this video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test the tail lights, which is that outer ring. We can see there those are working. We're going to move on to the left turn, all good there. Then we're going to go to the brake lights, looks to be working there. Now we can move on to the right turn signal. And there we have it. All our signals are working correctly. So now we're just going to go ahead and button up all the wires. So now as we said earlier, we're going to go ahead and use some RTV gasket maker, which we sell at eTrailer.com if you don't have any on hand. We're just going to seal up all the terminals and the wires there so you don't get any uh, circuits jumping between one another and we don't have any corrosion issues. So now we're just going to take our boot here and just seat it up against the back of the connector. Now we can just go ahead and secure this to our mounting bracket using the provided hardware. So just to make sure our diodes don't fall off of the spade connectors and terminals, we're going to go ahead and just clamp those down with a pair of vice grips so we make sure it's a tight fit. We can 
go ahead and reinstall our taillights. We already made our connection, so what we need to do is just align the tabs on the side there, press in like so, you should hear it click. Then we can take our two eight millimeter bolts and insert them into the holes on the side here. Once we get that tightened down, we can go ahead and just repeat the same process on the other side. And that's gonna do it for the Roadmaster Diode Wiring Kit for our 2020 Jeep Gladiator.